Hello and welcome to this latest video in the Tableau for Sports series. So I built this recently and a few people had asked me how I went about it. So this is looking at the period in the game when teams have scored their goal, their goals and broken into 10 minute slots. And I wanted to create this in one sheet. Okay, so I'd seen uh, something very similar from Dunk the Data on Twitter. And um, so you can see a very similar kind of chart don't think this was made with Tableau, although it could have been. Um, and I just wanted to have a go at remaking it. Now I knew I didn't want to make it for you know one sheet for 20 teams. I wanted to try and get this done in, in one sheet. Um, so there are a few uh, compromises, not least with the, the kind of axis here. Um, I've only included them at the very bottom and I've even got rid of the ones on the side. But you know that aside, um, I want to kind of recreate this. Now I've done something similar before, so this was for a Makeover Monday project, which is something Tableau run, or is run as a community project. And uh, I was just looking at attendance change for all the NHL hockey teams. So something similar, you've got a chart and you have the badge of the team. Again, this is all one sheet, so I didn't want to create a sheet for every single team. Okay, And this is what Tableau, or what I know as a small multiples chart. And the best blog post here is how to create small multiples, Andy Grebel. And uh, if you go along here, he has two calculations. Again, not vitally important that you understand what they do, uh, but they make this possible. So they essentially take the number of dimensions you have and they divide it evenly between the columns and the rows. So we're gonna use this, these two calculations here in our chart. But I'd recommend if you wanna understand a little bit more, you could go and check out Andy's blog post here on how to do that. Uh, lastly then is the data. So I got the data from soccerstats.com um, I actually took it every 10 minutes, but they have it broken down in 15 minute slots as well um, So I did have to manipulate and change it. So I'll show you this in Tableau now in a second um, But basically that that's where the, the data comes from. Okay, so this is what we're going to create uh, I'll share the crests with you as well so a shout out to Burnley Dave uh, for giving me a hand with with the crests and um, I can show you how you can you can implement those as well and I'll share the the data set that I have as well in the link below the video okay so let's dive in so that's my finished one I'm gonna go with a, a starting data cell and just to give you a look at how it's formatted so we've got the team the game period and their goal scored I, I do have what they conceded as well which we could do uh, or swap out uh, but I'm just going to concentrate on score now. And you can see I have each of the teams in each of the 10 minute blocks. Okay. And um, if you've got the data running across, the, the methodology might be slightly differently. I'd suggest you pivot the data or, or check out how to, how to do that in another video. Okay. So let's start to build this out. So if I build it just for one team for now, let me just filter to Arsenal. Okay, and what we're looking for is the number of goals they've scored across each of the game periods. Okay, so nice and straightforward of a bar chart. Now, I, as I said, I didn't want to do this 20 times. And um, so I want to do this all in one sheet. I want to be able to get the crest in that kind of top left corner there. Okay, um, but you can start with one and, and start to build it out. Okay, so I'm going to move this to detail. It's going to look broken for a second. And then really what I need to do is go off and get the two calculations. Okay, so the first one is going to be the columns. So we'll call it column. Paste that in there. Click OK. And the same, I'm just going to grab the rows. Create a calculated field called row. Put that on there. Okay, so you click OK to these. I want to right click and make sure these are discrete. And then we can just put the columns on the columns and the row on the row. Okay, so what I want is I want a column and a row per team. So these are this little triangle indicates that they're table calculations. So essentially, what I want to do is come down here and say compute using team. Compute using team. Okay, so now it looks much better. Let's fill the entire view. And if I hover over this, I should see these are all Arsenal 
Aston Villa, Brighton, Burnley, and so on. Okay, so just with that simple trick of the columns and the rows, I said all those calculations are doing really is just taking the dimensions, in this case team, and splitting it evenly across the columns and the rows. Okay, so let's untick to show header, so we don't need to show that to anybody else. And we've got the basics of our chart, and to be honest, if you want to leave it there, that's probably uh, the easiest way to do it. You can just format it and publish it. Now, to get my crest up here in the top left-hand corner, again, I'm going to use a particular calculation. So I'm going to right-click and create calculated field, and I'm going to call it, um, let's call it logo position. I'm going to paste it in here, okay? I'll just explain a little bit about what's going on. So basically, if we look along the x-axis here, uh, I want the image in, in the kind of the top left hand corner of each of these. Okay, so you can, there's different ways of doing this, but I'm going to put it above this bar 11, 20. Okay, between the 11 minute and the 20 minute, I kind of want to go in that top left corner. When I did this to 0, 10, it just squished it a little bit on the axis. So that's why I'm going to move it over a little bit. Okay, and really what I'm saying is where the game period is 11, 20, then get the max of all the goals scored okay so if you imagine all of the goals scored in um in the entire data set okay and i wanted plus two so i want it to be two higher than whatever the max is okay so find me the window max sum of scored and then add two to that okay so it's going to look across all of the uh, individual dimensions find the max which i think is 11 if i'm not mistaken or yeah i think it's 11 it's going to add two to that so it's going to give me 13 so that just gives me the kind of padding or the white space that goes above it okay and the reason 11 20 is that it's going to show at that point above that bar okay so we can click okay to that add logo position okay and what you should start to see is that logo position gets added and it's only the 1120 bar because that was what the if statement is. Again, it's a table calculation. So the window sum max is a table calculation. So it's computing at the moment in each section here. So you see the height of this bar is nine. This one's 10, this one's 13, but I wanted to find the max across all everything. So I'm gonna go in and edit the table calculation. And now I want it across everything. So this bar should be, see, 13, 13, 13, 13. So it's the same across the entire table, okay? So instead of looking in each cell, this is saying look across the whole table. So take into consideration all the dimensions, okay? So a couple of, that, that's probably the trickiest bit, I, I think, and maybe there's a better way. Somebody can point me towards it. That would be great. Um, and now what we do is we have a second axis here. So let's just make sure our bars stay as bars. This is going to be a shape, which I'll come back to in a second. So now you can see we've got the kind of dot. So let's go and dual axis. Right click and make sure we synchronize. So now we've got this dot in the in the top corner. And um, I want to get rid of all the measure names back and format this now a second so let's go to the logo position and i've picked the shape mark type and that allows me click on more shapes and sorry what i want to do is put team on the shape okay so you see at the moment now we've like a different shape for every team but i can actually go and, and select the the logos okay so premier league logos i'm going to sign the palette apply Click OK, and I'll just bump up the size here a little bit, but hopefully you start to see that we've got all of the logos in the top corner as the shape. Okay, now that's done in a folder. So let me just show you where that lives on your computer. So if you go to the C drive into my documents, There's a folder called my Tableau repository, and this gets installed when you install Tableau. 
and inside here there's a shapes folder and inside there I have put Premier League and I have my crests okay so what you'd need to do is copy this Premier League folder or create one yourself and put the logos inside there and once that happens you'll see them in this drop down here okay so anything add Okay, so it's a really nice way to add in the, the kind of custom shapes into that. Okay, if you Google that, you'll find loads of kind of blog articles on it. So then it was just about uh, tidying this up. So I'm going to get rid of the show header. I'm going to get rid of the game period. I even got rid of this axis. But again, these are kind of design choices that you can you can decide for yourselves. Um, and then it was about colouring the chart. So if I go back to the original here, um, you can see we had this kind of green on the grey black background, which I quite liked. So that's what I wanted to uh, copy. So let me just go and grab the actual colour. That looks like... So I'm just going to grab the hex code of that there. And we can go into the bars. And add that one. And then on my sheet, I can um, click format shading. And I want to format this to be that kind of grey background. And then I'm going to tidy up some of this so format. Let's make these labels white. I think I made them eight. You can make them bold if you want. Um, what else do I do? So the grid lines are off, uh, but I wanted the divider lines. So I wanted none on the header. And I wanted these as kind of dotted lines. And I think the same with the Rows is fine, zero lines, I think I set to none. And none. Okay, so just removed a little bit of the, the clutter. And then you can double click and you can put in your title. So I can't remember what I did, but this is a title. Uh, make it nice and big, tableau bold, and uh, make sure it's white. Okay. So we've now got a title. Uh, what else did I do? So I turned on the labels on the bars here. So if we go to the bars, drag some of scored to label. And I think I align them all to the bottom there. Okay, that's your kind of choice though. You could decide to leave them off is an option and have the header here on the right or on the left sorry so get rid of the title but maybe format these to be white nine bold something like that so you may prefer that kind of look or with the labels directly on it okay and then the last bit then was just putting it into a dashboard which i have shown before get rid of some more of the lines you could up the size of the the logo uh, not the bars, the logo. Okay, and that's how you create a small multiple, small multiples chart uh, with Tableau. Thank you very much.